When the game gets rough and this life just seems so tough, make we talk, my people, make we talk. When this town becomes an ugly place, don't let it erase the smile from your face. Make we talk, people, make we talk. Conversation is the key. A guiding light for you and me Spark a talk and you will see Conflict solver A to Z Word When the game gets rough And this life just seems so tough Make we talk my people, make we talk When this town becomes an ugly place Don't let it erase the smile from your face Make we talk, people, make we talk Conversation is the key A guiding light for you and me Spark a talk and you will see Conflict solver A to Z World leaders master the art of self-defense Just by talk So people make we talk Hey Hello, 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 hello Good afternoon, good morning in Kingston City, Jamaica Where we're listening from around the world in the Eastern Caribbean and watching Welcome to another edition of the Mequi Talk program. This morning or this afternoon, it seems as if the Parliament of Jamaica, headed by the Jamaica Labour Party, both in the Senate and in the Upper House, or is it the Lower House? Anyone? They have this bully tactics that they don't want the opposition People's National Party to say anything. Yesterday, there was a big uproar in the parliament between Senator Peter Bunting and Deputy President of the Senate, Charles Sinclair. Mr. Bunting tried to finish Mr. Golden's speech in the parliament yesterday. And to our surprise, Mr. Sinclair tried to bully opposition leader and opposition leader in the, in the Senate. Opposition Opposition business leader in the Senate. That's what I'm saying. Yes, opposition business leader in the Senate. That tried to bully him. And it begs to ask the question, is, is it the tactics of the Jamaica Labour Party to bully the opposition when they try to say something in the parliament of this country? Is it that the parliament of Jamaica belongs to the hierarchy of the Jamaica Labour Party? Or does it belong to the people of this country? That's a question we need to ask this morning. I want, you to, I want you to watch this video here with Charles Sinclair and Peter Bunting. And members on both sides, stick to the relevance of what is before us. I'm going to use some of my time today to complete that section and members on both sides stick to the relevance of what is before us i'm going to use some of my time today to complete that section of the opposition leader's presentation which he was unable to complete in the house sorry i'm reading it for the answer when you are making your contribution, you decide how to use your time. I know, I know that the truth hurts. I know that the truth hurts and you don't want to hear it. But the truth may be an offense, but it's not a sin. And Senator Bunting, 
what I ask you to do, and I'm asking all senators on both sides today, that we are going to contain our speeches to what is relevant to what is before us. Relevant to what? Relevant? No, no. You notice that, Senator Bontin, I did not interfere when you started, you know. Don't, with your broad commentary after. but then you are going into an era that i'm saying that you are now no, transgressing no. Mr. Mr. into an era that Mr. is not President. relevant we you know the the, so the, Senator Bonte the observer has cut out some part of it but we're going to look for the actual clipping for you all to see based on what we're seeing ladies and gentle people on this platform Remember to like, share, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Share the, the live to as much people you can share the live to. We need to get some more people on the platform here. But based on what we are seeing, in it is, is a trend. It's a constant trend of the people of the Jamaica Labour Party to bamboozle and muzzled members of the opposition. Quite frankly, and I don't want anybody to dub me as in the PNP member, but the opposition leader should have given a day to finish his presentation. Because the Prime Minister of Jamaica walked out on the Jamaican people when Mr. Golden was given his presentation. So, quite frankly, what I believe should happen. In the Senate, the opposition leader should have given more time to finish his budget presentation. But that did not happen at all. Because the people in the parliament, the people of the Vumva, Vaughan, the Vumva, V in the parliament, they believe that they are the bull duppy and duppy conqueror for the parliament. So they couldn't allow it. And now Peter Bontin tried to do it and, and he's been bamboozled, he's been muzzled. What sort of country are we living in? What sort of country are we living in? Huh? What sort of country are we truly living in? A country and a parliament our parliament is governed by a country, our parliament that is running the country on a dictatorship. Is that the country we're living in? Where members of the opposition, if they try to say something in the parliament, they are being muzzled. Huh? They are being muzzled. They are being muzzled by the king of kings and the queens of queens of the parliament of Jamaica. Is this the country we want to live in where we, we, our, our parliamentarians on the other side can't say anything? Huh? Is that the country we truly want to live in? Where the opposition's Opposition People National Party cannot say a word in English because, of course, the bull duppy and duppy conqueror of the Senate and of the House of Parliament won't allow them to speak. Is that the case? Is that the case, my fellow Jamaicans, that we're facing in the Senate of Jamaica and in the Parliament of Jamaica? Is that truly the case? That our people must sit around and the Parliament is being run like a circus? Huh? 
the parliament is being run like a circus under the leadership of the speaker and the deputy president of the senate that's how the parliament is being run nowadays so i beg to ask the question this morning What is next in the parliament of this country? Hmm? What is next in the parliament of this country? What is truly next? A dictatorship of a speaker, a dictatorship of a prime minister, and now a dictatorship of a deputy leader of the Senate. Is this truly the Jamaica we want to live in? Where these people believe that they are the bull duppy and duppy conqueror of this country? Where they believe that. They are above the law of the country. Huh? Is that the case? Is that the case that we must be accustomed to? I want you to listen to what really happened in the parliament. Listen to this. After this man speak, then Senator Mount is going to come on. I want you to listen to it. Hmm. You know, we're living in a country where there are some serious times in this country. When I tell you that Jamaica's democracy, Jamaica's democracy right now, is at risk. Nobody don't believe me. Jamaica's democracy is on the line. And whether we want to accept it or not, that is what is going on. Our democracy is on the line. Jamaica's democracy is at risk of this Andrew Honus administration. Listen to this that happened in the Senate yesterday with Deputy Leader Charles Sinclair and the Deputy Leader, the Leader of Government Business in the Senate for the People's National Party. Listen to this. And are recognized for around the world when investors look just these priorities translated to numbers it reflects the policies, the programs, the practices of each administration. The opposition's contributions will critique the government's priorities and performance, and also it's an opportunity to propose alternatives. Now, last week, the leader of the opposition was not allowed to complete his presentation. One opinion writer in the daily newspaper said, Tuesday, March 19th, was a dark day for Jamaica's democracy, end quote. The government used its large majority to rob the house of a quorum and tried to rob the leader of the opposition of an opportunity to complete his presentation. We know that in reality, that backfired. We know that in reality, it perhaps drew more attention to that section of his presentation than it would have otherwise received. 
However, I believe that the Hansard, the official record of parliamentary proceedings, should include that section of his presentation. As if I were to quote the most honorable Michael Manley, he would say that scholars yet unborn should have the opportunity to draw, to make their own assessment and to draw their own conclusions of the performance of this generation's leaders and parliamentarians. So therefore, I'm going to use some of my time today to complete that section of the opposition leader's presentation, which he was unable to complete in the house. Sorry? I'm reading it for the answer. When you are making your contribution, you decide how to use your time. You know, I know, I know, I know that the truth hurts. I know that the truth hurts and you don't want to hear it. But the truth may be an offense, but it's not a sin. So I'm going to pick up at the start of that section. It was titled, Good Government in National Life. Yeah. Change at a national level must focus on good governance. In this modern era of pervasive information sharing and communication, good governance is increasingly essential to maintain the people's trust and confidence in our democracy. Citizens are demanding that their leaders uphold the highest standards of accountability, transparency, and trustworthiness. All the measures that have been outlined for implementation will only be possible if we change the approach to governance that now exists. I leave you with, and I'm quoting from the opposition leader's presentation, I leave you with the ways, means, quality, and spirit of the change in governance that we commit to. Good governance isn't merely a set of ideas. It is the foundation upon which an equitable and just society is built. We are in an increasingly low trust environment. We are in an increasingly low trust environment. That is the speech that Mr. Mark Golden was supposed to give in the parliament, you know. So Senator Peter Bunting is giving it for him. And in, in, in a part of the speech, he speaks about low trust environment. The Jamaican people don't trust the government anymore. The Jamaican people don't have any trust in the, in the Andrew, no, Andrew Honus led administration, the Jamaican people don't have any, tr any trust. Do not have any trust. In the Juliet Honus led Speaker of the House, our, our representative, the Jamaican people has lost all trust. The Jamaican people has, all, has lost all trust when it comes on to Andrew, Andrew Honus administration. The extension of the Speaker of the House. So when Mr. Golden was trying to give his speech, they walked out. And now Peter Bondin is trying to help him out with his speech inside the Senate. And he's been bamboozled and muzzled by the Deputy President of the, the Senate, the People's Senate. It's not Charles Sinclair Senate. It's the People's Senate. It's not Camilla Johnson Smith Senate. It's the People's Senate. It's not Matthew Samuda Senate. It's the People's Senate. I want you all to listen to some more of this.
since this JLP government came to office in 2016, no less than eight ministers have been forced to resign or have otherwise been sanctioned. Sen Senator Bontin. Yes? No, Senator Bontin. Yes? We are here debating what is entitled the, the bill, Consolidated Fund to the Service of the Year, ending on the 31st of March, 2025. And Senator Bunting, what I've asked you to do, and I'm asking all senators on both sides today, that we are going to contain our speeches to what is relevant to what is before us. Relevant to what? Relevant? No, no. You notice that, Senator Bunting, I did not interfere when you started you know, with your broad commentary. But then you are going into an era that I'm saying that you are no transgressing. No, Trans no. Progressing into an area that Mr. is not President. relevant. So, Senator Bunting and Mr. members on both sides, stick to the relevance of what is before us. Confine, as is set out in Standing Order 35 1, to what is the subject under could, could discussion. You? All right? Good. 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 I, you heard what I said? He spoke about... Uh, all right, Senator Fraser Bins, you are sitting and you can't speak to me whilst you sit. All right? Senator Bunting. You know, Mr. President, that's why I started my presentation saying that a budget is a statement of priority. We cannot confine ourselves to the numbers. We have because those numbers represent and Senator Bunting, Senator Bunting, Senator Bunting, I am Senator Bunting. No, you, I'm not Mr. going to get into an no, argument with you. You cannot. Tell I will. Me I will tell you what, and I will tell any member whether it is on your side no, or no, on the no, government no. side that you are going to confine your presentation to what is contained Every, in the bill before us. All right. Thank you. Thank you. The bill before us covers. Every aspect of government. Right. Every aspect of government. It covers the Auditor General. It covers it the Clerk of the House. It covers the Integrity Commission. Every Continue and where, and of where, government. And where I, where I rule. Where so I, I am rule. going to speak where, on I, anything I'm, that is covered by that bill. Everything. That is covered and we're, in this book. We're, and if you want to muzzle me, you're going to have to take me out of here. No, you can shut off the thing, but you well, can walk out and remove Senator that Bunting, forum. Do whatever you want. But Senator this, Bunting, this is my contribution. I am speaking to this book which covers every aspect, every aspect of government. You, you all see what is going on in the Parliament of Jamaica? You all see what is going on in the parliament of this country? It is a clear indication. It is a clear indication. Yes, they have rules and regulation in the parliament. I agree. But the parliament should allow Mr. Golden to finish his speech. The leader of opposition business in the Senate. The goodly Peter Bunting, Senator Peter Bunting, decide to try and bring the speech in there. And what he's speaking about the speech is in the rule book. It speaks about the Auditor General report. It speaks about so many other things. And the, the Deputy President of the Senate, Charles Sinclair, is trying to bamboozle and muzzled. Peter Bunting. The Jamaican people should have none of it. And for those who believe that I'm talking because the mayor PNP, I don't give a flying kahuna. The fact of the matter is 
the man is not breaking the laws or the rules of the, of the Senate. He's speaking in the guidelines of the rule book. And for them to be muzzling the opposition, something is wrong somewhere, people. For the Angelo Honus led administration, the Senate and the, and the, and the, and the Parliament itself, the Senate is the Parliament, you know what I'm talking about, the Speaker. For them to be muzzling the opposition, something is wrong somewhere. For them to be trying to muzzle the opposition in everything they try to do, there's something wrong somewhere. And that is why I tell you people, you know, take up everything in hand. I want to say everything and what I meant. When they're having things like these in the Senate, watch it, comment and speak about it. Jamaica's democracy is at risk. Jamaica's democracy is at risk. When you have a government that is trying to bamboozle and muzzle the opposition, dictatorship is on the line. Dictatorship is around the corner. And we must understand and wake up in this country that we can't allow this to continue. You can't have the Senate, the Deputy Senate President, trying to bamboozle and muzzle the opposition. Huh? It can't continue. The rule book states that you can speak clearly about the Auditor General report, about the, 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 um, the tax administration of Jamaica. It clearly speaks about it in the rule book of the parliament. So how on earth Charles Sinclair is trying to bamboozle and muzzle Peter Bunting? And if the PNP was in power, they're trying to do the same thing. I'll talk about it too. If the PNP was in power, they're trying to do the same thing to the Labour Party. I'll talk about it too. Listen to this. Senator Bunting. Continue where you go outside of 35 1, then I will rein you in. All right, continue, continue your presentation to what is before us. Thank you. I decided, I decided, Mr. President, the move in 2020 to take away the chairmanship of most parliamentary committees from the opposition has weakened that mechanism of holding the government to account for this budget. The maneuvers to delay the tabling of reports from the Auditor General and the Integrity Commission remains a contentious matter. We had a development on that just yesterday and really, and really, all of that, all of those reports concern how the executive is spending this budget, every dollar in this big yellow book. So don't tell me that it is not relevant. Don't tell me that. I determine what is relevant, Senator. No, you don't. I determine. No, you don't. Very well. No, you all don't. Right. You can come okay. and try with that. But wait. <laughs> You hear what this man is saying? He determines what is relevant from what is not relevant. Good God Almighty, Jamaica gone. No, sir. Fully impacted. 
Let us see. Let us see. Let us see, Senator Bunting. You don't decide. Senator Bunting, I decide. No, sir. What is relevant? I determine what is relevant. No, you don't. Okay. No, you don't. When I make when I make ruling, you will see. You can try and use that to muzzle. You can try and use that to muzzle me, but you are not preventing me from speaking. I don't think he learned from the folly and the fallacious statement that he made with St. James. The maneuvers to delay the tabling of reports from the Auditor General and the Integrity Commission remain a contentious matter, especially since the legal opinion on which the delay is purportedly based has been withheld from parliamentarians and the wider public. It is interesting, and I pause and move from my, my reading. It is interesting that the Minister of Finance spent a great deal of time in his contribution, which I suppose you will now tell me is not relevant, spent a great deal of time defending the Speaker and her Refusal up to yesterday to table the Auditor General reports, the Auditor General's reports. It is interesting. He spent a great deal of time in his closing yesterday. He even went on all angles last week. But thankfully, we have strong, courageous public officers who stand up to bullying. And when these reports were sent back to Parliament yesterday and eventually tabled, what do we see? These reports covered two agencies that are within the portfolio of the Minister of Finance. These reports cover, in one case... You know something? When you watch the proceedings in the Parliament of Jamaica and how the, uh, the, the, the government held bend in shutting up the opposition, Jamaicans, a majority of Jamaicans take it for a joke. It's not a joke, you know. It's a very serious thing happening in the Parliament of this country. It's some serious thing happening in the Parliament of this country. When you have leaders of the Senate and the Speaker of the House is trying to shut up and bamboozle the opposition in the Parliament of Jamaica, the People's Parliament, not Andrew Honor's Parliament, not Senator Sinclair Parliament, not Juliet Honor's Parliament, it's the People's Parliament. And when you see this happening in the Parliament of Jamaica, Jamaicans wake up. Jamaicans wake up. This don't look good. Something does smell good. They are trying to shut up the opposition from speaking. Something don't smell kosher at all. Something smell like rivet and dump. And we need to take grip and take serious look at what is going on. Very serious look at what is going on. It cannot be. And it must not be. It cannot and it must not be that the opposition don't have any say in the parliament of Jamaica. The walk out and opposition leader, Jamaica's opposition leader, not the People's National Party opposition leader. It's Jamaica's opposition leader because the opposition make up the government. In case some of these JLP propagandists don't understand the Parliament of Jamaica. The opposition make up the government of Jamaica too. And I'll advise some of these JLP propagandists to consult their constitution. If they can read it and understand it.
But what is going on in Jamaica's parliament, in the people's parliament of this country? The Jamaican people better take a look, serious, a serious look on the parliament and on the Senate. I've never seen this in my entire life. And I've watched many debates in the parliament growing up in, 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 in my country. I've watched many debates from the old Jamaica Broadcasting Corporation, JBC days. With the black and white TV, when Michael Manley, the fundamental Mr. Speaker, Bell Vine vote for $4 billion, Mr. Speaker. From those days, I've been watching it. And I've never seen something like this in my life. Where the, the government walk out on the opposition. They didn't walk out on the opposition, you know. And I will continue to nail this down to the ground. Mr. Andrew Michael Holness, Prime Minister of Jamaica, walked out on the Jamaican people in the parliament. He did not walk out on Mark Golden and, 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 and the, um, the People's National Party. He walked out on the Jamaican people. And now this morning, Yesterday, Wednesday in the Senate, Charles Sinclair is trying to muzzle and bamboozle the, the opposition. Huh? Charles Sinclair is trying to bamboozle and muzzle the opposition. Like how Mrs. Holness is the Speaker of the House, is trying to endeavor best. To shut up the opposition from asking questions. It's the same thing happening, the same thing ha ha happening in, in, in the Senate. The same thing happening in the Senate. The same thing going on in the Senate. A dictatorial government. Whether you like it or you don't like it. A them run things. Them a man a yard. A woman a yard. Huh? Them a man a yard, a woman a yard. A them run Jamaica. Them run things. Whatever they say in the parliament goes. And if Mark Golden and, and um, Bunting don't like it, take up your bag and go down and go. And them run things. No, 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 no. The Jamaican people want things. Not Andrew Holness. They're answerable to the Jamaican people. The speaker's answerable to the Jamaican people. Not Andrew Holness. And we must understand that. Whether we like it, yes or no. Whether we like it, yes or no. We must understand that. And Charles Sinclair in the Senate, the deputy, the deputy Senate president, must understand that the Senate don't belong to him. The deputy president of the Senate must understand that the Senate don't belong to him. It belongs to the people of this country, not you, Charles Sinclair. How dare you? The tax administration, Jamaica, which has been paying rent or lease for the last four years, which had run up to $350 million and counting, that was up to last year, on a building which they have not yet occupied, which they have not yet occupied. They also mention another one. This was in Greenville, in Manchester. They also mention another one in St. Mary in Anatobe, where the MP, didn't say an MP, a former MP, it said the MP. Similarly, in a company, through a company associated with him, is the landlord. And similarly, Millions of dollars spent on a building which was not occupied. Perhaps that is why 
the minister was so defensive, protective of the speaker who was holding back these reports, which clearly are not, let me say no more than, than they're not flattering. They're not flattering to the leadership. They're not flattering to the leadership of the ministry, of the minister, of the minister of finance. It reminds us, quite frankly, of another report which was sent directly to him this time and which was never read but put in a cabinet. But we will get to that. So let me return. We already had the bullet that dealt with the walkout and that was covered. But the next bullet, the next bullet had addressed directly the failure to disclose the identity of the so-called... All right, Senator, Senator Bunting. Senator Bunting. 35... You see how many times this man interrupt the presentation of Mr. Bunting. Listen to this. One of the standing order. So what is ClickUp? ClickUp is an all-in-one productivity so software where you can manage Variables. everything and anything. That you will confine your presentation to what is relevant to the motion that is before us, bill or amendment and confine your observations to the subject under discussion. That's 35.1. So we're talking about relevance. Their volume is low, I, I understand, but I... Further into standing order 35. 35.2. Because where you are going to go is not an area that I'm going to facilitate. Because what you are going to be doing, sir, what you are going to... You, what you are doing is that you, standing in this Senate, is going to want to cast aspersions. What? Yes, sir. In relation to, and in, in relation to persons who are members of either chamber under 35.5, right? So, Senator Bunting, you're not going to go down there this morning with me. All right? Very well. Because you will see, sir. You will see. So I'm asking you to, to be relevant to the bill that is before you. All right. Um, Mr. President, you know, it is those of us who have been, those of us who have been in the house, we spend much more time on this same appropriations bill. We know that in standing finance committee, any member can ask any question of the government because every part of the government, every ministry, department, and agency is covered in this bill. And every commission of parliament is covered in this bill. And I want to talk, speak now to the Integrity Commission, which is a commission of this parliament and, and whose government. budget is included in this book, yes. right? That Integrity Commission has, that Integrity Commission has reported that there are six MPs who are under investigation for illicit enrichment. I have not pointed at Senator, any Senator. That Here he Senator, goes again. Senator Bunting. In relation to what you are speaking about, it's a matter that they have said they are doing inquiry, investigation, as the case may be. Let that commission do whatever it is that they have to do. And if they submit a report, 
and you get the opportunity at that time to discuss that issue. But you cannot come here, sir. But you did not allow you me can, to no, you're not going to discuss. You're not going to. You're not going to discuss that this morning. Mr. President, I Mr. Am really Mr. President, Mr. 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 Senator Bunting, Senator Bunting, Senator Bunting. Senator Bunting. Senator Bunting. That's not what you heard. You can't tell me what I heard. Because I've heard enough of what you have said. Senator Senator Bunting. All right. I'm going to bring your attention. I'm going to bring your attention. Senator Bunting. You are no. You are no. Senator Bunting. I am going to bring your attention. I'm going to bring your attention. Senator Bunting. I'm going to bring. I'm, well, you will see what happens down there too. Senator Bunting, I'll bring your attention to 43-1, all right? Of the standing order. Results, they say, don't lie, right? So this is for those still doubting whether this online business or digital share it with refresh us. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. President. My, 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 my. What is next in this country? Listen to some more of what Senator Bounty is saying. It's continuing an integrity commission. The Prime Minister's statutory declarations of assets, liabilities, and income have not been certified and published by that Integrity Commission for successive years. We are asking that the Integrity Commission make a report, a full report to Parliament on that issue so that this taint on the integrity of the government be addressed transparently. I now turn to the Financial Services Commission, yes. the FSC, a part, a part of this book. We know that many innocent investors, including Jamaica's iconic global track superstar, the Honorable Usain, We have heard enough of what is going on in the Parliament of Jamaica. We've heard enough of Senator Sinclair muzzling and bamboozling the opposition. It's the same thing the Speaker of the House does to members of the to members of Parliament in the Parliament of Jamaica. Same thing. And the Jamaican people must just sit down and accept what they're doing. Because what? Because what? It's a shame and disgrace. It's the ultimate shame and disgrace to what is going on in the country. It is a shame and disgrace what is going on in this country. The Senate deputy leader, deputy president rather, is muzzling the leader of opposition business in the Senate, Peter Bunting. The only thing left for Charles Sinclair to tell Peter Bunting is to shut up and sit down. I don't think leave for him to say, shut up and sit down. Shut up and sit down, Bunting. Because what? I seen clear. And the PNP and the JLP run things. Is that the Jamaican people run things? 
In other words, this government must do whatever they want to do, and nobody asks them any question. Mr. Holness and Mrs. Holness must do anything they want to do. And no question must be asked of them from the Jamaican people. Not one single question must be asked of them. I want to hear your take on it. I'm going to open up the phone lines. And I want you all to call in and tell us what you think of what is going on both in the Senate and in the upper house of the Parliament of Jamaica. Where Mrs. Holness is the Speaker of the House. And all she does is do the same thing is that Charles Sinclair is following her to do the same thing, to bamboozle them, muzzle them and shut them up. They must say nothing on the behalf of the Jamaican people. The number to call into the studio is 954-529-8030. That's the number to call into the studio. May God help Jamaica land we love. When you have people like these in our Senate or in our Parliament, the only thing left for them to do is declare martial law on the Jamaican people. That's the only thing left for them to do is declare martial law on the Jamaican people. That's the only thing left for them to do. Declare martial law on the Jamaican people. Whether we like it, yes or no, it may happen one of these days. Because obviously they, has, they have no respect and no regard towards the Jamaican people. That's a good question, JP. How long will this go on? And the Jamaican people are the one who's supposed to stop it, JP. How long will this continue? And I bet you any money, if the people don't go out and vote them when they call election, they, they'll go back in, you know. If the Jamaican people don't go out there and exercise their franchise to vote whenever he calls the election, they'll go back in. Listen to this. We're going to get some more of this. And What's members up? on both sides stick to the relevance of what is before us. I'm going to use some of my time today to complete that section of the opposition leader's presentation which he was unable to complete. There you go. He's going to use his time in the Senate to complete the opposition leader's speech to the people of Jamaica. Well, the opposition leader was unable to complete because the dictator, the brogard, Jamaica's prime minister, walked out in the Jamaican people to the parliament. And he don't have the he doesn't have the respect to apologize to the Jamaican people because we're nothing. We're beneath him. We're just look like dirty common foot or common dirty chose's boy. From down a crossroad and dirty chose's gal or skirt from down a crossroad. We're nothing to him. Hello, good afternoon. Welcome to the Mecca Talk program. Yeah. Yes, turn off your TV. What do you have in the background, please? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Go ahead. So, what alternative the opposition have for the Jamaican people? I beg your pardon? What alternative the opposition have for the Jamaican people? I don't know. 
Yeah, but you said they want the 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 the, 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 the other party. Did I say what alternative? You 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 hear me say that? Because that's what you that's what you're doing. That's what you're campaigning on. You don't call my program and tell me what I didn't say. I don't care who you are. You see me coming over here campaigning? You see me coming over here campaigning? Go and call another program. Don't call about this program. Hello, good afternoon. Welcome to the Hello. program. Yeah, good afternoon. You know, that last caller is very disrespectful, and he's one of those people that just pathetic. Now, you know what? Let's not waste any time on people like that. But to be honestly, Mark needs to take the people outside and protest. You know, hmm. because they're not going to go themselves. They need a leader, somebody to go out with them. And I think, to be honest, just like the um the election that just happened the other day, how they were out there and blowing their horns and going on the most way, both yeah. sides. If Mark took his people out there like that again now, It'll be over. I guarantee it. Hmm. That's all I have to say, sweetie. Have a good day. Thank you very much. Hello, good afternoon. Welcome to the Minister. Send you one poster. You're live on air. May I send you one You're live on air. Eh? You're live on air. Oh, sorry. Good afternoon, everyone. <laughs> good afternoon. I'm just tuning in and I'm here to, to listen about this transparency with the tax administration of Jamaica. But Jamaica have a million beauty, you know, but we are so far. So me want to know where the transparency are going to start. Are we going to have more mud in the water and confuse us more? Mr. Jeffrey, they go and do your thing. Let me listen and hear what the people they must say. Huh? Yes, ma'am. Can me not understand? Neither do I, my dear. Thank you for calling in. Okay. Bye bye. The numbers it to call is nine five four five two nine eight zero three. Twenty million dollars. Nine five four five two nine eight zero three zero. That's the numbers to call. Do you believe that they are trying to bamboozle and muzzle the People's National Party, the opposition, Jamaica's opposition party? The Jamaican People Opposition Party, you have some of them who are so illiterate that they will say it's not the opposition party. It's Jamaica's opposition party. Without them, there will be no government. Hi, Freedom, how are you doing? Are we going to sit down in this country? And the level of corruption goes on in the country. We would have said, okay, there's nothing going on. Is everything is okay? Everything is okay. The KPH is without bed. The KPH is without a functioning CT scan and a functioning MRI. A functioning X-ray machine. The countries or the country don't, don't have a proper burn unit. And when it comes down to the burn unit, the two parties to be blamed for that. Don't get me wrong. The two parties to be blamed for not giving Jamaica a burn unit, a functioning proper burn unit. It's one government at a time. But when it comes down to the burn unit, the two parties to be blamed, they did not do enough. To build a burned unit. Either in, either in the 1970s, 80s, nor 90s. They didn't do enough to build a proper burn unit. 
And now the Jamaican people may get burned, whether the house burned down or a car, crash and cart fire. That's it. Dog near me supper. If you don't have the money for fly, go and mind me if you survive. Too much go fund me goes on in our country for people who get burned because we don't have a proper burn unit. Hello, good afternoon. Welcome to the Mekwitar program. Hey, Mr. Jeffrey, how you doing? I'm here looking and living, my friend. Yes, sir. I'm at here. I'm at work. Listen to you. Oh, that's good, man. Where are you calling from? Pennsylvania. Okay, that's very good, man. Yes, sir. My take on the whole thing going on in Jamaica is like Jamaican people blind to what's going on. Mm -hmm. When it when it come on to Juliet now that the Prime Minister wife, yes, the people land we ain't trying to take. It's not no ball field you wanna make there. Hmm. I think you wanna put up some new apartment. Well, we'll all see what they're doing, sir. If the people don't know, wake up, sir. Yeah, the thing about it between Andrew and his wife, they they run in Jamaica like. They own it. They own Jamaica. They don't care who else, anybody else there earth as long as they're in charge. They don't care. Hmm. May God help us. For real, I would say the same thing to sir. May God help this country of ours. You have I mean, you have Jamaicans who they can't see beyond the, the color orange or the color green. All they see is orange and green. They don't, they don't see Jamaica. Yes, sir. As a young man growing up in Jamaica, Mr. Andrew Oles is the only prime minister I ever see. He just do stuff and he doesn't care. And, he, he, and, and there's no accountability, sir. He doesn't come and, he does not come and address the Jamaican people about anything. That's what a lady said to me yesterday. That if he goes no, overseas, he... if he goes overseas, he doesn't come back and have a press conference and say, you know, I went overseas and this is what we did, this is what we, we signed. We signed some bilateral agreement. We, we, we signed some memorandum of understanding with the American government or with the Canadian government. Or with who? He doesn't speak to anybody about anything. No, even in Jamaica under dictatorship. And when we talk, when we talk, you have some military, and I'm not gonna apologize, you know. Who don't want to come back on this plan, no problem to me. You have some illiterate people. Mm -hmm. Like the guy that just called you a while ago. He's so, what, he's so sweet the way they just click. I'm like, damn, that's the way to go about it. You don't even have to argue with him. When they say stuff that out the line, they just click. Everybody's entitled to their opinion. You know? But don't come over and tell me what I did not say. Don't do that. Exactly. Exactly. Don't do that. Well, Mr. Jeffrey, I'm, as I said, I'm at work. I was on my lunch break, so I'm a, yes. I'm a continent listening. You just go and do the good work. All right, sir? All right, sir. Thanks very much. All right. Bye-bye. The number to call is 954-529-8030. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, ma'am. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. And good afternoon to your listeners, too. One thing I have to say to Jamaican people, they need to start, start planting. Huh? They need to start to do their own farming in our backyard. And stop lying in these politicians. How busy they are. It's so all in person. Yeah. Hold, I, I, I'm not hearing it clearly, ma'am. What is in what? Impertinent, they are. Oh, yes. They don't care. They're doing what they're doing right in our face. And that's it. Take it or leave it. Hmm. Now, the Jamaican people, along with the opposition leader, is that 
so sincere about Jamaica. They need to take it out to the street. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we need, since they are adamant and doing what they're doing, along with the PSOJ and all of the other sectors then that are with them, mm -hmm. we need to also take it to them. You know, yeah. you, you know, there's an old, there's an old saying by um, Marcus Garvey, you know, that the Jamaican people never know what is going on until their back is against the wall, you know. And I think... Their back is passed against the wall now. There you go. It's passed against the wall. So if their back passed against the wall, what next do they need to see and understand and to realize that these politicians intend to bring them back on the slavery but you, you know something ma'am i don't know why people believe that america is going to take over jamaica america cannot take over jamaica now this is a, this is a democracy the jamaican people vote what is going on in jamaica for america to take over jamaica the american already gave jamaican people an ultimo an, an ultimatum that this is your country. It lies in your hands to stop the corruption and the crime and violence in the country. You, the Jamaican people, must do it. You know what happened to Jamaican? Some, to some of them, laziness. They like they are lazy and they like hand me down. Yeah, and greedy. That's their problem. Hmm. Because. I don't understand how somebody are doing you so much evil and you sit there in a complacement and then expect somebody else to go and fight your battle. Hmm. Come on, Jamaican people. Our ancestor, Nanny, Paul Bogle, Marcus Garvey, the all of them, did have to rise up to fight against the colonial master but it's not the colonial master is doing it to us now it's we the people. same jamaican people our own people and 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 we can't see beyond we cannot see beyond the color green and the color orange we can't see jamaica not the colonial people. master oppressing them no no they're oppressing their own self because if it is that these these non scum politicians so evil and destructive and intend to keep them under slavery. What are you saying? Who are you blaming? When you all sit down and not doing anything about it, then you're going to say, we're under slavery. When you allow yourself to become under slavery. Hmm. Hmm. My people. Put help. down the stupidness. Put down the politician. Because not one single one of them, if you notice the um the PSOJ and all the other sectors come together on the government side and they are willing to stick together to bring Jamaica under slavery. Can you imagine one pound of sugar gone to three hundred dollars? And we use we <laughs> used to we used to provide sugar in our country. Now we're buying sugar from overseas. This is, unless there's something wrong with us. We're sick as yeah. And if, a, if a country cannot feed themselves, what do you think is going to happen, Mister um, Jerry? Just a, just a Jeffrey. Mr. Jeffrey, what do you think is going to happen if we are not able to feed ourselves? Yes, you notice yes, all yes. the budget, all the budget that them, um, Andrew Owens and the followers there. You notice them not mention nothing about farming. Thank you. Yeah? Nothing you notice about. them that have no farmer provision for farming. Not to mention the medical business, the hospitals. Not to mention the hospital, not to mention about the schools, them. Let you notice know, all the debate them having and all the talk them attack and the EPA promises that they're making to the Jamaican jackasses them down there. Hold on for me. 
Let us hear what the Minister of Health in his presentation is going to say. And also the Minister of Education, because they haven't they have done their presentation as yet. So let us hear what okay. they're going to say. If they have any goodies according to the Minister. Empty bag of goodies. Another bag of, go of, bag of nothing. Because Andrew only saw them come and them give a fancy talk to the Jamaican people. Them. Uh, yeah, they don't even listen to what is being said. You know. As the man said, and we are going to do this again. Yeah, I know. And everybody making a bag of nice and not listening. Hmm. Not listening to what these, these evil people are saying. But you know why they can be here? Because the Jamaican people allow them to. The Jamaican people allow them to do what they're doing and not being held accountable. And, and, and I tell you, you something, know, you know, sir. I tell you something, you know, ma'am. Sorry, I tell you something, you know, ma'am. When you have people who doesn't know too much about their fundamental rights and their constitution, and you have people like a Wilfred Rattigan and a Jeffrey Tavares and a Wayne Lonesome and others that may go on the air and try to explain to them what is really going on. You are being dubbed as a member of some political party. You are being dubbed as a what? You are being dubbed as whatever because what? They don't understand what we are trying to say to them. All they understand. It's like that they don't understand. They refuse. Hold on for me. All they understand is the color green and the color orange. They don't understand that Jamaica is in a serious problem. It's not, they don't understand at all. The one them that do not want to listen and take heed are the ones them that are getting the hand-me-down. The other one that's getting one, 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 five thousand now, one ten thousand dollar, and then they go go do them garbage. And I claim say, "Yeah, I'm the only is the Messiah." Yeah, of course, Andrew Owens is the Messiah. The Messiah to bring them under bondage. Mm. These mm. people need to understand and realize that it's not about them. It's about our children, children, children. It's not about them. It's about the, it's future, about the future, future of our generation. Our ancestors paved the way for us. And this is how we are repaying our ancestors. Hmm? This is where all we are repaying our ancestors who bleed and die for our liberation. And this is what we turn around doing. True, true. Thank you very much for calling me, ma'am. I have a next call coming in. Thank you so much. Hello? Hello? Yeah, have a great day. Thank you very much, ma'am. Bye-bye. The numbers to call is 954-5298. There's a call. Oh, here it is. Good afternoon. Welcome to the Mekutor program. Where are you calling from? Good afternoon to you, to Mr. Tavares and all your listeners. Good afternoon to you, ma'am. Where are you calling from? I am calling from our colonial master's headquarters. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, you're calling from Unfortunately, Brooklyn. absolutely, sir. Okay, but I, you won't hear that accident. Oh. <laughs> that accident. Okay, Sorry to disappoint you. Yeah, I don't speak it. Oh, I'm determined to speak my land, my, my, my home language, my know. home um, accent, and so forth. Well, just to reiterate on the same subject. Um, that you and that um, lovely, um, sensible, smart woman was talking about, about us not knowing. Most Jamaicans, they don't understand politics very well. Many of us weren't taught this. We, we are from, we are, um, our culture is just what you can give me for today. Mm -hmm. It, it, it's not like, okay, give me something to build for the future that I can be independent. A few generations from our age group, yes, we like our independence, we like our um, to have our jobs, we like to know that we have good 
uh, medical care, um, and all the essential we need for the economy to work. Mm-hmm. It's like I, I, I have never voted, but I know the importance of vote. Yes, and I'll tell you why I didn't vote. I was, I was living in an area, a PMP area. My mom, you know, that family thing where they are. Um, I am, what is it called? I'm not even sure what they call it. What do you call Manly again? I know the labor rights, the JLP well, are hold, shower. Hold on, for, hold on for me, darling. Before you go any further. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to tell anybody what to say. But what I'm going to say is this. Whatever my parents are or were. That doesn't dictate uh-huh. to me that I'm a member of the People's Andrei. National Party, a member of the Jamaica Labour Party, and I'm a comrade or my Labour right. Hundred times one hundred percent. I agree with you. You. So I was just about to say, absolutely, you're a grown up. But this is where I'm going to get to now. We are not leaders; we are followers. And I'm going to tell you, there are times when I come to Jamaica, and I see that trends in our men and even females are not there. People are continuously copying each other. We are copycats, right? So I was about to tell you for one reason why I didn't vote it. And then since then, when um, it was during the Manly time, they had a meeting very close to my house in that area in Spanish Town. And my mom, they went to the meeting and boy, oh boy, oh boy. I never see so much people run to my yard. I've never heard so much gunshots. I never see so much blood. And that's when I said never again. Because I had a different mindset. Everybody used to call me, you're a white woman. I think I used to watch too many films. So I wanted to live that, you know, had that foreign mind. But it has changed. I've grown that out. Yeah? Because especially... When you go home, you realize the paradise that you leave. And these people are not appreciating it. I went home. I'm just in Baca two months ago. And the condition of the road, the street, it's the people, unfortunately, I have to say. The condition of what road, ma'am? The peak, like the dirt, the, the, the area that the, ro- the, the, the roadside that people are selling us. With all the garbage and everything there. They are the ones who are putting the garbage here. They have to look after themselves and then they demonstrate. I'll tell you something, you know. Come and clear this house. I said this on air a long time ago. Yeah, this on Yeah. I said this on air a long time ago and people was upset with me. Mm-hmm. But I blame the politicians too, but I also blame our people because I've seen where they put garbage skits, how they call it, in the community and they refuse. Yes. They refuse to dump the garbage I'm in the community. What they do is dump the garbage in the gully. Oh, God, not to mention. Not to mention that what And the place stinks. The stagnant water. People selling beside it. People selling cooked food and all that beside it. This never used to happen. People were big on hygiene. People understood what hygiene was all about. Every little corner shop, you see somebody selling something. There's no proper water area for, for VC. Nothing like that. Hmm. And many things are proper toilet in. And our people, they, don't, they just live in that mentality where they just bitchy bushy, you know, any little thing and they sell it. We're not doing things with fire. We can do better. Things never used to be that way. People would clean up their roadside. You see people cleaning up their yard. Sometimes when you pass out in some houses. I mean, it's not that happening everywhere because this is in Spanish town. I'm from Spanish town, unfortunately. Where? And very near to where our prime minister, our prime minister came from. I attended the same school he attended. Mm-hmm. So I'm not saying everywhere is like that in Jamaica, because I was around in St. Elizabeth, some beautiful places in those areas, you know, like landmarks and all of that. West Milan, Montego Bay, they, I mean, it's just mainly Spanish when I think when I see all these ring fences, 
And I think they would have gotten rid of that. These garbage One piles. thing I know, though, you know. <laughs> One thing I know, you know, Jamaica has its has its problem, you know. Big problem we have. But our country is the best country known in the Caribbean and in the world. Oh God, it's a, you know when you, you you know you love it when you were there, but you want to go foreign. And when you come to foreign, you think, Jesus Christ, and I'll make them tell you said it's a place that it's cancel. They don't understand this these things. And then when you come, they see you now. They pressure you. They don't know that they have it so much better and easier for them. And they can do much better. Because to be honest, many of us, we come and yes, we work the money here, but we've got to pay back in bills. They, they don't understand it. You know? They believe oh. that. No, what they believe in it. Because some of the Jamaicans, you see, we go back, don't go max out credit card as if things yeah, are going nice. far in. Yes. Hold on to me, ma'am. Mm -hmm. We max mm -hmm. out credit card as if things are going far in. You see? And we, we flash with Hennessy. And we rent car up and yep. down. But when we come back up here, dog, mm -hmm. me and we supper, we not to have money for go buy for pay our rent. I'm an next call. Absolutely. So, yes. Well, I just want to say, and I'll, I'll let you go. We are not, we are not followers. I just say this quickly before it goes. Yes. Another thing that I see when we were on the road, and you have um, these these roadside sellers, everybody's selling sweet fish swims, um, um, about six people coming to you, buy this from me, buy that, and it's the same six people with the same thing. Mm. They don't have ideas, they shout an idea, they just copy each other, and that's why when they go to meetings, if, if me, I think that if me, if me in this crowd and this and what, I have to follow that one. They don't have their own minds, but I think yes. that's a major problem. Yes, ma'am. But it was it was great talking to you, great programs, and guess what? You guys are doing so much better. Thank you. The whole rusty gun, whatever, because people, they're making, you, you, you guys are opening people's eyes, and that's what people didn't know. People yes. weren't aware of certain things or certain information that you guys put out there. Okay, and if you can just continue with that work, that's just going to open people's eyes. Thanks right. a lot. Thank you very much. For okay, calling. bye now. Bye-bye, thanks. Hello, um, good afternoon. Welcome to the Mecotar program. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from Toronto, Canada. Hey. What are you doing, my friend? Yeah, good. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Um, I just want to dig you up on the good job you're doing. You know, your program is excellent. You're doing a very, very good job, you know, enlightening the Jamaican people and open their eyes. Thank you very much, sir. I heard a call, a call earlier on and he was saying if you replace the government, what do you have to replace them with? And but I what I'm saying to that, like that I know you never say anything like that, but what I would like to say to that caller, every day you go on social media, Mr. Holiness and his wife go viral. No. To go viral, is you have to do something especially good or something bad. And every day you go on social media, everything that come out of the prime minister mouth go viral. Anything come out of his wife mouth go viral, and it's for the wrong reason. Mm -hmm. it, it, so just be the judge of it. It, 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 it. You don't have to even say nothing. It's out there. So I don't know how they're blaming you. They need to blame the prime minister and his wife. No, but you see, you see, you see, you see, I don't understand people, you know. Whatever I come off, whatever I come on my program with, it is in the news in Jamaica. It's in the news in Jamaica. I don't come and make up things. I don't go to my bed at night and I sit down and get up and say, you know, I'm not come up with it. No, it is in the news. And that is why I come on the air with it. And it's we, not even go ahead. It's more than that. It's it's not it's more than that. It's viral. Jamaica is trending. The Prime Minister and his wife have Jamaica trending. <laughs> because the things that they are doing and saying doesn't make any sense. <laughs> my 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 hmm. so they call and they try to defend. How can you defend the defenseless? It, it, what you're doing doesn't make any sense. Even even somebody who has basic education, 
can see through the foolishness they're doing. But, but basic in, education. In, in, in the fact of the bad, sir, is that these people do not and will not think about Jamaica and put Jamaica first. And put Jamaica first. They will not do that. What they're putting is Andrew Holness, Mark Golden, Andrew and the PNP, Andrew and the Army um, Labour Rights, Mark Golden and the Comrades. When are we going to put this beautiful country of ours first? When are we going to put this piece of rock in the Caribbean Sea first? When? I, I don't know, man. And the thing is, that your, your program, what are all the programs I listen to? I find your program to be more, more, ba more balanced. Eh? Thank you. Your, your program is very balanced, straightforward. I try to do it, sir. It's not, you're not, yeah, you're not, it's not like you take inside. You're just saying, it, you listen to the news and you report on it and you comment, you, you comment on it. What is wrong about that? I mustn't do it. You, you think, I, yesterday, I, I, I watched um, the Minister of Finance, and he was saying, whatever you want, anybody you want to criticize, don't criticize the Prime Minister. Why? You can't say anything, but don't say nothing about Julie. He's no, I want to know. No, no. Is he, 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 um, the, the Minister of Finance? He has a mental yeah. problem, you know? He's a sick individual. Of course. He, he's sick. Because he's, 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 he's in politics. So if you are in politics, how are you going to tell Jamaican people not to criticize you? You're not supposed to say nothing because you're a woman. How does that make any sense? It's like, it's like I married to my wife, right? And then five years after she do something wrong, and I cannot say nothing. Mm. Because I did say that I love you and I cherish you and I will be with you until the end. So if you do something wrong, no, I can't change my mind. But what is he talking about? Yes, yes. If Miss Wallinis uh, does not want us to, as Jamaican to criticize her, she needs to resign her position, go home and look after her two sons. True, true. That's it. Come out of politics. Yes, sir. Thanks for calling in. We have an extra call coming in, sir. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you. Okay. So, okay. Bye. 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 Good afternoon. Welcome to the Make With Our program. Where are you calling from, please? Hello? <laughs> the number to call is 954-529-8030. Um, when you call... Good afternoon. Welcome to the Make With Our program. Yeah, hello? Yes, good afternoon. How can I assist? Yeah, hello, Mr. Tavares. How are you doing today, sir? I'm here looking and living. Where are you calling from, please? Uh, I'm calling from Jamaica uh, uh, um, in Hanover. Okay. Where in Hanover are you calling yes. from? Um, Lucy. Lucy, okay. I went to Green Island Comprehensive yeah. High School, that's why I asked. Oh, you went to, really? Green Island Comprehensive High? Yes. That's the school I've been to also. Anyway, that's mm. not what we're, we're here for. We are here to talk about, you know, I realize that normally when people call in, they would say Jamaicans. I understand that things are happening in Jamaica. It's not all Jamaicans are stupid. We like, you have Jamaicans like to listen. Because I'm listening to you for years. And I'm listening all the others for years. And I knew what you guys are saying is the fact. The thing is that what our government are doing with our people, that our people has to, you have stupid people that will all see the things that they are doing, but still, still on their side and want to see all the bad things that are going on in Jamaica. I'm so sick and tired of it. I was in Germany for years. And mm -hmm. when I said years, I mean 17 long years. And I saw Jamaica as a country that I would remove back, come back to Jamaica and try to pull back again because Jamaica is nice. Mm -hmm. But believe me, I'm so sorry I went here. I came here. I'm so sorry I left Germany and come here. So what are you saying? You're, you're, so, just, you're, you're sorry you went back home to your, to your country? Yes, I'm so sorry because oh this is what what I faced here, the things that I faced here, believe me, I've never seen it in my whole life. What I've 
seen here. Even our own people try to dig us. The government is digging us. And they and our own people try to dig our pocket. Also, you, if you come here and and you have a have a um, deep tone, a voice, you're gonna pay for the voice that you are speaking with. You have to you have to pay for it. So if something costs ten dollars, you're gonna pay a hundred dollars for that it. That is why. That is why when you, when I go back home, we must stop the speaker spoke here and chat. Hey, my mom, ten pound I'm taking back. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I never see anything like yes. this before. I am praying to God. I've never made an X in my life. I'm 54 years old and I've never ever voted in all my life. But mm. this is something that I have to remove because I don't know what is that. I don't know what we have in that. You have course. to vote, ma'am, because Maybe. if you don't vote, if you don't vote, the country the country not continue with continuing. I'm taking that thing out. I don't know what they are. And and I don't I don't have any respect for them. So I don't know where this honorable come from, but I would say honorable thief, a bunch of thieves, a bunch of dishonest and liars mm -hmm. are there, and they should yes. start looking to themselves. And I'm mm -hmm. praying to God daily, daily I'm mm -hmm. praying to God that they could go to prison. Yes, I swear. All right. I'm praying for that. Thank you you have yourself a nice day. You're and welcome. I hope they can hear yeah, the bye voice bye. of the people. Thank All you right. very much. Thank okay, you. Bye bye. Have a nice day. Same to bye you. Bye. Bye. Good afternoon. Yeah. Welcome to the Microchart <coughs> program. Where are you calling from? Yes. Hi, Jeffrey. Hello. Hi, Jeffrey. You know, to be honestly, look here, Jeffrey. I have something. I'm here and I'm listening to the show and I'm thinking, Jeffrey, the system was designed this way years ago. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I could call his name on your ears, Tiaga. They put Siaga there to deal with the system this way. The first thing he scrapped, he messed with was the educational system. And Jeffrey, it was designed to keep the people dark and illiterate. So they can do whatever they want to do with us. I'm saying us because I'm a Jamaican. I live in Canada for years, but I still see myself as a Jamaican. A matter of fact, I have property in Jamaica, beautiful home. My parents passed away. God bless them. So they passed away and gone. Oh, and hold on there us. for me, ma'am. Hold on there for me, ma'am. You have property in Jamaica. You're paying taxes for it, eh? Yes, baby. So, so hold mean? on. Hold on there for me now. On the properties you have in Jamaica, you have a house on it? Two hours, yes. Okay, I have somebody, or you have somebody look, looking, it, looking it over for you? We have somebody in one of the house, them, Jeffrey. We're renting it. We're not charging much money no, in that four-bedroom house. You know why I ask the question, ma'am? You must make yes. sure that somebody's on the other one, you know, because they're with TV for you. Oh, laugh now, Jeffrey. That's a good thing you ask me them questions here, Jeffrey, because I really don't want to call you personally. Privately, so we can't ask you these questions. So, my God, ask you them questions here, panic here, where everybody can't hear because maybe I go can't educate somebody. Jeffrey. Yes, ma'am. Two hours with parents live upon the property, Jeffrey. Uh -huh. And one of them is one of them is a four-bedroom house. The other one is three bedroom because the, the other one, my father. When he was here, he put her in another bedroom and make it a little wider. Mm -hmm. But Jeffrey, the other um house where we not where we weren't occupying, Jeffrey, somebody go take it and start living there, Jeffrey. How long the person living there for now? Jeffrey, me know where you go say, cause after 12 years, Ray Ray and Tay Tay, don't it? Mm-hmm. All right, Jeffrey, we bring it to court already and give them three notice. So that matter, don't it? Yes. What you need to do again, Can though? That... What you we need to did do it again? Ag How many mm. times you do it? Three times. And, and the person has to come out? Them cuss we like dog. Excuse my language. And they have come out of the house? Come out when no, Jeffrey. And guess what, Jeffrey? To be honestly. We want to go and come at Jamaica and deal with it. The liar that we had dealing with it, Jeffrey, 
she, you know them have some liar, no disrespect at T for Jamaica. Yeah, man, them are, them are two foot posts. Mr. Jeffrey, she some have with them. documents. Them, Je, some of them, some of them. Jeffrey, she have with documents, Jeffrey. My father and mother, death certificate, my grandfather, death certificate, very rated. War works with you with and things like that, seeing? And Jeffrey, majority of the work where she wanted, she, she said she, she was going to do, she had to take her precious time. So we go up and we boots out there and we just start go at this office and go at that office and start taking our things with itself. And so Jeffrey, even though question. we take. Sorry, let me continue. Does she no have problem, your papers? Jeffrey... Does she have your papers? Or you have your, all the papers? Jeffrey, she have with documents. No, 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 no. Listen to me now. You listen to me now. Listen to me now. You mm -hmm. need to get. Where, where are you calling me from? Canada. Okay. Canada, Canada use the same system that we use in Jamaica. JP, that is not a republic. What okay. you need to do. Where, 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 where in Jamaica you have this property? Clarendon, Maypen. Okay. When are you going back to Jamaica? Nice area, Jeffrey. Hold a residential area. When are you going nice. back to Jamaica? When are you going back to Jamaica? Jeffrey, to be honest, let me, I want to come out there sooner than later. But the problem is, Jeffrey, we want a good liar. That's why me that go try to call you. All right. Call me, me off so air. Call me in. off air and you and I can talk. All right? Just like that, Jeffrey. Just like that. Because Jeffrey, me, me I dry draft is some liar out there. But Jeffrey, me not know who fit trust me. Me day your family and trust no you man. Old, Jeffrey. Yes, when me I say, Jeffrey, me can't trust nobody down there. You know, see, me I talk to one and two little people out there and things like that. Them I say to me, say, the fee of the $300 just to talk to them and way, way mm. and they, they. Mm -hmm. And Jeffrey, the liar who have with documents are charged with... Sit down where you there now. Yeah, me can't say yeah, sit down anyways. But listen, Jeffrey. Mm. The liar we have with documents I say we need we are six thousand Canadian dollars just to get back those documents. We are can the work them we should do for we. Jeffrey, what kind of work you do that, Jeffrey? Eh? What kind of work you do for Jeffrey, me not sure you said majority of the work documents right, what you you supposed hold to on have then. No, no going no further with this. Let us not try this in the public domain. I am no lawyer, but uh, let, let, let's not be no village lawyer and try this in the public domain. What you're going to do for okay. me, as soon as this mm -hmm. program is finished, I, ho I hope you like, share, yes. and subscribe to the program. Je uh, what are you talking about, okay. Jeffrey? I'm going to put my whole ass, I'm going to put my phone, I'm going to put my TV, I'm going to put my iPhone, so the whole of them, they put your channel and just a share, just a share out. <laughs> Hold on there. Is it, is, is it, is it 6,000 Canadian or 60,000 Canadian, is it? Six thousand Canadian she want from me. All right, you Jeffrey, hold on a minute not... now. When, when you when I finish off of this program, you call me. What will is, is okay, it, Jeffrey? You see, you see, some of the Jamaicans. When we go back far, when we go back to Jamaica, you know, with the twang. That is our problem with twang too much. Jeffrey, you hear me a twang? Me neither say you. <laughs> but some of us go back to Jamaica. What, what twang with twang? Me and understand, that is, that, that, Jeffrey, is why, me that, understand. Is, that is why these people in a, in a the vum 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 positions, they're charging us so much money because we talk too much. But Jeffrey, that's why me say me want to draft one liar out there and them with it, Jeffrey, because I don't know how to deal with them people here. Me want a liar so a liar can't deal with a liar. You understand? Me want with documents from our doctor. And if, and if, if, if she can't go to the documents, go to the Jamaica bar, the legal counsel. Anyway, you call me off that, here. Let us talk off here, all right? All right. All right. May I go do that, Jeffrey? Just okay. listen out for me call, do you know, Jeffrey? Eh? Listen out for me call. Can yeah, I go call you right after the show finish? No problem. All the best. All right. Bye-bye. Mm. Hello. Good afternoon. Welcome to the Make Talk program. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from Kingston. Oh, the land of wood and water. Go ahead, ma'am. Yes, I am wanted to find out if you have um, a knowledge of what the Integrity Commission was like before the change the act to put the standing committee. That um, was under the former speaker, Dalrymple. Yes. Because it's very pivotal to, the, to this current discussion. To get, I know all angles dealt with it in part. 
yesterday, um, last night, but I didn't hear all the program. So if at some point you could trace the history from the time previous to the act, the new act that was passed in 2017, mm -hmm. for us, we'd be grateful. All then, right. you know, I know you can't just leave that top of your head, but... Do, do me a favor, darling. As soon uh -huh. as I come off air, you give me a call, all right? On the same number. On the same number here, yes. Give me a call on the same right. number. Right, all right. Good, I will. Good. All right, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Thank you very Good. much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The number to call is 954-529-8030. 954-529-8030. That's the number to call into the program. My, 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 my. Bambali, baby, holy do, do, si, de, yoni. Hmm. Jesus. Everybody having land issue with lawyers in Jamaica, eh? I have a member of my family having some issue with the lands in Jamaica too. What a shibangaran going on? What a shibangaran going on? And somebody in the parliament, she love land, sir. Every minute she not dispute with people land. I've never seen this in my entire life. Hold on there for me, I've got a call coming in. Hello, good afternoon. Welcome to the Make It Our program. Big up yourself, Mr. Jeff. Big up all of everybody. Well, I'm big boss. For... Sorry, hold on. Better now, Mr. Jeff. Yeah, yeah man, much better. Warm. Good, good afternoon. Big up to the people in the chat. Yeah, man, respect. I just want to give me a little input. Not yes. for one day for beer woman there, Jamaica. A beer mm -hmm. woman, Mira Carl. Warm to the man, them. No more patriot patriotism. Everybody right. just sit down. So. Apparently not, sir. They, they, oh. We don't have any more patriotic Jamaican at all. We have patriotic, patriotic comrades and labor rights, not Jamaican. So the, the, the man them only have strength to them one another. After yesterday and the reports will come out, we never expect Jamaica to open up today. <laughs> mm. After all that go on, everybody just sit down. I'm understand, say. Um, the people them skeptic and them afraid and so forth and even the, the phone tapping thing they say yes the people them have a little fear in them but just nothing them yeah. just sit down so you know something if we do our history you know the late Martin Luther King Jr if there was a history that I know if my memory said me correctly they tap his phone too and Martin Luther King Jr never stopped speaking out about what he believes in and what is going on for the black race in America. But the Jamaican people, for some reason, yes, they're afraid, but they love their parties. They don't love Jamaica and they don't love themselves. Well, Mr. Jeffrey, me hear them say some of the times say people are foreign, we, 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 them live better. Oh, them so they know where they are said. They are live good. So they don't know where they are fear. So they don't want to hear nothing. <laughs> because, Meanwhile. Because you know why, sir? sir? You know why, yes, sir? sir? You know why they keep on saying that? Because some are we. Some are we who live up here. And who live up foreign. You know what they do? Then go back down there, see? And then we have one credit card. Then max out the credit card because what? Things are going to foreign. And before they go down, they buy some name brand, something going to go, 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 go trash off, trash a man. And things are going to fire in. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Yeah, man. And they, they flash with the Hennessy. And then dash with how much money long they become. Uh, things are going to fire in. They come up with the hungry like dog. And can't pay Boy. Boy, Mr. Jeffrey, the, the, the viral and the, the internet, it go crazy. And all of you. We ain't lonesome, hot off of the press, rain ratty gun. I can't even don't name them. I stand up for the Jamaican people and them just sit down and wait for the benefit. Yeah, man. Uh, uh, all them do this, come on, come on, come on over here. And who not disrespect you? Disrespect other people in the chat. And who not call you and tell you something when you say? Because what you mustn't talk about their party. And according to them, you're bringing down Jamaica. So I keep on asking the question. When the news, when CVM, TVJ, Nationwide, RJR, 
links and every one of them, when they carry the news and say, there's a, there's a, there's a triple murder in St. Thomas, and the people of the world here, there's a triple murder in St. Thomas, is, isn't that bringing down the country? Six, All I have to say, with ending this, it's, it's a blessing. We will keep up the good work. We still not left no Jamaican, but brothers and sisters will still fight for you no. Know? But we don't need to get up you no. Know? We don't need to get up you no. Know? We don't need to get up us block some road at me now inside no violence. We don't need to get up March Pop Parliament Black Garden House. The man Andrew and Juliet go. Hmm. Them need to go. We don't talk. Respect me, sir. Yeah, man. Yeah. Respect you. Thank you for calling in. All right. Thank you. Da 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 Mrs. Holness tried to put one of Jamaica's longest civil servant, an outstanding woman, underneath the bus. This morning we get up. The deputy president of the Senate is trying to shut up the opposition mouth. And that is what is going on in the land of wood and water. And for those who in Jamaica, you need to listen to the news down there, you know, because someone will listen to the news and will come back here and chat us out of nonsense. Listen to the news. That's what you need to do. Listen to the news of what is going on in the land of wood and water. Listen to the news. Make sure you have the news to listen to. Listen to the news of what is going on in the country. Listen to the news. Because if we don't listen to news and understand what is going on, it don't make no sense we can't have a discussion about anything at all. Make sure you get the news. Listen to the news. We're going to take a quick break, a very quick, quick, quick break. Do not go anywhere. We'll be right back in two minutes. When the game gets rough and this life just seems so tough, make we talk, my people, make we talk. When this town becomes an ugly place, don't let it erase. The smile from your face Make we talk People Make we talk Conversation is the key A guiding light for you and me Spark a talk and you will see Conflict solver A to Z World leaders master the art of self-defense just by talk, so people make. Welcome back to the Mecca Talk program. The number to call is 954-529-8030. 954-529-8030. Call into the program now. Discuss anything you want to discuss. What is on your mind? It doesn't, it doesn't matter to be the topic that I'm speaking about. But call and tell us what is on your mind. 954-529-8030. Ask the numbers to call into the program. What is on your mind? What is going on in the land of wood and water? What is truly on your mind this, this morning? Nine five four five two nine eight zero three zero. Um, listen. One of the caller calling and speak about. Jamaicans must stand up and get up. The last caller. And I, I agree with him. 
stand up and get yourself in some good trouble. And when I mean good trouble, I don't mean go burn down anywhere, you know, or burn down anywhere, you know. I mean stand up. Stand up and let your voice be heard. Let your voice be heard. That's what we mean. Stand up and let your voice be heard. Let your voice be heard of what is going on in the land of wood and water. Our country is a beautiful country. We have some very nice people. Because our, our motto is out of many one people. Out of many one. That's our motto. And we have some very nice people in, in our country. And we must stand up and get up and speak out about what is going on in the country. It doesn't matter what political party you're from. Look within yourself and ask yourself the question, is this the Jamaica we want to leave for our children, children? The number to call is also a WhatsApp number. For those in Jamaica who want to call from WhatsApp, it's also a WhatsApp number. 954-529-8030. 954-529-8030. That's the number to call in. Um, we must, we must really look in within ourselves and we look in, really look in what is going on in the country because if we don't, look what is going on in our sister island, Haiti. Huh? Look what is going on in Haiti. My fellow Jamaicans, wake up. We need to wake up. And we must wake up now. We can't continue like this as a people. I agree with you, my friend. They are scared. We can't continue like this as a people. And we, we must send a clear and decisive message to the government, the Speaker of the House, and the Deputy, the deputy Leader of the Senate. You can't bamboozle or muzzle the Jamaican people no more. Because when you muzzle the opposition, you're muzzling the Jamaican people, sir. You cannot continue like that, Mr. Sinclair. The last time I checked, Jamaica is a modern democracy. And we put you there. We, the Jamaican people, put you there. You can't continue like this. We must be a voice. Let our voice be heard. Hi, Good afternoon. Hi. Welcome to the Make It Talk program. Hello? Hello? Yes, turn off your TV in the background, please. Okay. Yes, sir. Pertaining to Jamaica. You hear me, sir? Yes, sir. Go ahead. Yeah. Why well, you say we must wake up? Did you tell me, sir? Let me ask you a question. Hello? Do you, you call the program to comment on what is going on, sir? Or you call the program to ask me questions? Oh. Because every day you're living on Jamaica, get off Jamaica back. I can't block you. You hear that illiterate idiot? You hear that idiot? Me must get off Jamaica back. I'm a Jamaican. I'm a proud Jamaican. And I will continue to speak about my country. The country is in a crisis. When people can't have proper health care. When our people don't have proper health care. When our people can't go to the hospital to, have a, to, to lay on a bed. It seems, that you, it seems that you have a bed to lay down in. If you go there. I want you to call back again, you see. You think, uh, you think I'm a person to joke with? When you have people collecting part program money in the, in the Bryland Sun Hat, and they have them dancing all over the place to get the little money. You're talking about get off, get off Jamaica back? 
<laughs> Poor you. You need help. I bet you, I bet you if, if I come on here and say, oh my God, Andrew Honus is the best prime minister in Jamaican history. The Speaker of the House have a right to do what she's doing. The Speaker of the House is a good woman. I'm not saying she's not a good woman. But I do not like what she's going on with. If you get a report to table, table the report. Good afternoon. Welcome to the Mequitar program. Hello. Hey, good afternoon. Yes, ma'am. How are you doing? I'm doing good, ma'am. How are you doing? I'm doing okay. I'm just trying to tell you that that caller that just called just now. Uh -huh. Leave them alone because guess what? If five thousand dollar done long time, in it. Oh yes. If five thousand dollar done long time, and I'm hungry, hungry, so you might say something. When I'm going to get another 5,000, so leave him alone. Leave, leave him alone. I pray for him. I pray for him. Let us pray for him. And that is all I call to say. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hello, good afternoon. Welcome to the Mequitar program. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from California. Yes, sir. Go yes, ahead. You see that idiot that you just call? And that's why Jamaica is in a state right in Iana, Jeffrey. Do you understand? You know, you see them the kind of man, you know. Them is the kind of man, you know. Because that's the one I'm looking at, dry jumping, you know. Literacy. A lot of the people, them, um, is very illiterate. They don't read. True. They don't listen to news. All they listen to is bar talk. What they hear a bar on the sidewalk. True, true. So that is the kind of people we're dealing with. But what I want to say yes, sir. is that a lot of people acting like Mr. Golden did something wrong. Mm -hmm. The man is only pointing out simply. Remember, at the outset, he, 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 he was trying to work with it. With Mrs. Hornet being the Speaker of the House. Yes. They tried to work with it. But after certain things were being hidden from the Parliament and from the people of Jamaica, now we had a problem. Because mm -hmm. that should never be. So now, here comes. Mrs. Hornet's integrity being questionable. Hmm. You understand me? And I don't doubt that Ms. Darren Pilbert was doing the same thing too. And that is why, I don't call you call and that is why I asked the question. The opposition party or the opposition knew that Mrs. Hornet is deputy speaker. Many times Mrs. Hornet as deputy speaker um, run the parliament. They know what exactly. she has been doing. So I exactly. ask the question, why did they really vote for her to become speaker? Well, that is one of the things where a lot of people is saying because at the, out, at the interim, in the interim, Mr. Golden and Mr. Farwell went along with her being the speaker. Mm -hmm. because before she was the deputy speaker. And normally, whenever something is happening, right. you're, you're the, correct. Speaker, the speaker, in case the speaker is sick or something is wrong with the speaker that they can and attend, then the deputy speaker has to fill the void. Yes. That's how it goes. Mm -hmm. So, I cannot really bash Mrs. Hornet being the Speaker of the House, irregardless that she is the 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 the, 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 wife of, the wife of the Prime Minister, which it should not be so, because that person is supposed to be an independent. 
And I think I think why why a lot of people are upset over it, you know, sir, is that if she she know that she was deputy speaker, and if it should happen, she know that um when Dalrymple resigned, it's gonna be her. Yes. What Mrs. Honor should have done is just say, you know what, I decline. I don't want to be deputy speaker. Because it's gonna look bad. Right. Done because that. I'm the wife of the Prime Minister. Thank you. So, so here comes is that any decision that I make is gonna look as partisan or partial. Right. Exactly. You know. That, 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 that's it. But going forward, now that this has reared its ugly head, we need to put legislation in place so that doesn't happen again. True. True, true. Yeah, yeah, that 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 needs to be rectified. You, you understand me? And if gov if good governance is to prevail, and yeah. I'm talking about Jamaica, because the problem I have in you know, a Jeffrey. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. A lot of people is dealing with orange and green. So right. Orange and green is doing nothing, absolutely nothing for Jamaica. Yeah, 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 you understand me? Yes, if a not person not wanting a thing, because it seems like everybody is on a party. Oh, wow, oh, the Labour Party or the PNP party. Yeah. What I want to see is whichever party is in government is doing something not for the party but for the people of the citizens of jamaica True. so jamaica should be primary and foremost in everything it should be not be no no party politics yes you understand me yes. when i listen you know, jeffrey yes sir when i listen I hear people talking rubbish. I have to lock off that media medal. <laughs> yeah, you know I'm a, I went to Monroe College. Yes, sir. The same alma mater as Nigel Clark. Okay. Okay. And I know that brilliant people come from out of Monroe College. Yes. You understand me? So I'm not bashing Dr. Clark. On what he's doing. Yes, sir. But the question is is what Dr. Clark is doing, is it benefiting the citizens of Jamaica? Very good question. Because I heard Dr. Clark make a statement. And when he made that statement, I, I I have to say, well, boy, man, if he's an intelligent man, don't talk rubbish. Hmm. If he's an intelligent man, talk intelligency. Yes. Or talk intelligently. Yes. And the statement that Dr. Clark made was that he has to have STEM schools. Hmm. And I'm repeating it word for word. Yes. And the STEM schools he will have to borrow money from, I don't know if the, if the IDB or whatever the source was, yes, sir. to fund the STEM schools. No, I'm saying, if you're going to have STEM school, who's going to be the STEM teachers? Good question. When, when you already have a shortage of teachers, because that was evident, at the opening of the school term, you know. Yes, sir. You, 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 you understand me? Yes. A lot of a, a, a lot of institutions did not have teachers for the relevant subjects. Mm -hmm. And that's because of the of the um the migration of teachers. Because a teacher know if they go to the Cayman Island mm -hmm. or into the Bahamas or to the Turks and Caicos Islands. They can do way better than they're doing in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. Here comes the mass exodus. Yes. And they're going to England and Canada and even here in America. Yes. Yeah, because the wages that they are paying teachers in Jamaica 
Come on. It's chicken feed. No, you cannot do that. You, you understand? Just a while ago, I heard that a pound of sugar in Jamaica costs two hundred and twenty dollars. Nearly three hundred dollars. Yeah, and I'm saying, my goodness, and they, if someone you read me reiterated that um, somebody came to our house to beg two spoons of sugar. Yeah. So that is evident that people in Jamaica cannot even afford sugar. And, 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 and that is why I ask the question, you know, when I hear people calling like the last caller who called, is, is it that people are calling to the program is lying? That they can't afford certain things. And I know they're not lying. I'm just saying something, you know. For them to no. say that we're on Jamaica's back and we're bringing down Jamaica. And I'm like... Jeffrey, Jeffrey. Yes, sir. Is it a fact or fiction that Jamaica has a problem? It's a fact that Jamaica has a problem. Okay. Well, the thing is, what my analysis of what I have seen because I've not been here for quite a while. And, 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 and hey, I, 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 because I personally don't want to function in a society like that. I live in America. Right. Okay? And me going back to Jamaica for whatever reason, oh my goodness, it's, it's not healthy. Because I had my girlfriend that went to the same time to the hospital. And because of neglect and lack of attention, the girl died. Mm. So nobody can tell me about anything that's going on in Jamaica. Jamaica does not have a healthcare system, Jeffrey. Yep. Because in any developing country, when you have a hospital, whether it be South Lamar Hospital, or St. Bay or whatever hospital it is. Each and every hospital compounder is to have a laboratory mm -hmm. with all the machines that are necessary for the necessary testing. Yes, sir. EKG, whatever X-ray machine, and you name it. Does any of these hospitals have any any equipment like that? No. What I what I know so far that right now then they need I think the Kingston Public Hospital may need a CT scan now and an <coughs> That's a national disgrace. That is a national disgrace, Jeffrey. Hmm. When a person goes to the hospital for the person to get whatever the relevant test is, they're sending them to some private place. Where then man, the law watch you at wherever it is, and it's 30 and 40,000. Now, where is a poor person on God's earth? Then I get 30 and 40,000 for one test. Hmm. Hmm. And, and, and the, minister, the Minister of Health is missing in action. He's like he's basically hiding. I think, I think you understand because I, I, he's not addressing he's not addressing anything. I think he's at his funeral home, sir. Oh my goodness. I saw I saw I saw it. We're well, talking about funeral home. When the hospital need service, there's no money being pumped into the hospital. So when Mr. Wallace is talking, he needs to talk about what the country is lacking. Yes, yes, yes. And don't try to score political points yes. in Garden House. True, true. I, I, I have a next call coming in, my friend. All yeah. right. You take it easy. Yeah, I can't yeah, tell you another time. All right, my friend. There you have it. My, 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 my. Mm-mm. The caller who was just calling can call back. 954-529-8030. The caller who was just calling can call back. 954-529-8030. Good afternoon. Welcome to the Mequitar program. Hi, Jeffrey. How are you doing? I am here. How are you doing? Not too bad. 
So it was just ironic. I was just thinking about the Minister of Health, uh, Christopher Tuft, and how the Minister of Health now is having all the bodies from KPH going to Spanish Town, despite the fact that Kingston have um, a lot of uh, funeral homes. And I'm sure, you know, there are funeral homes in um, Spanish um, in Spanish Town. Mm. So it seemed conflicting that a Minister of Health is benefiting from death. You know, just to have all the bodies from KPH go to um to, to Spanish Town. So then it begs to ask the question, is, is it better for people to, to be alive and healthy or for them to die and for him to make profit? You know, it just it's just very conflicting. So then it's like I'm thinking, you know, is Tufton, you know, benefiting from the deaths of Jamaican? Why is there no interest in health? I just find that that whole scenario is just very conflicting. I don't know if he's benefiting. But what I can say is this. It is quite obvious that they don't want to solve Jamaica's crime pandemic. Exactly. Quite obvious. Exactly. May God help exactly. us. Right. That's just my thought. It was just bothering me the whole time, you know. Yes. Why not the interest in making people healthy versus having all the bodies? He deliberately made all the bodies go to Spanish town. And that just didn't seem right. Thank yes. you. I don't like being online too long. Thank you very yes. much. All right. Thank you very much for calling in. Bye bye. That is where we're going to say so long from here for today. Well, not for today, for now. We're going to come back with another exciting program. Until you hear my voice again, I, I, I tell you something, you know. <laughs> they say it's a council that own the um the funeral home. Is that really Mr. Tufton? I can't prove who own it. I'm hearing some stuff and I am not going to say anything too much. But whatever, whatever, whenever, whenever I can speak, I'll speak about it. But I'm hearing a lot of stuff. By the way, they, Jeffrey. <laughs> anyway, remember to like, share, and subscribe to the Mecca Talk. Jeffrey Tavares. Oh, Lord. One last call. Hello. Good afternoon. Welcome to the Mecca Talk program. Where are you calling from? Yeah, I'm calling from Miami. Can you speak a little louder for us, please? Huh? Can you speak, speak a little louder, please? Yeah, I'm calling from Miami. I'm at work. Yes, <laughs> ma'am. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, no. Um, two things I would like to say. That guy that called before, you should know his voice. As I, I was listening to the prayer. As I hear him come on, I say, mm -hmm, that's the troublemaker. Cut him off, Jeffrey. Cut him off. <laughs> I know his voice. He comes to talk a bag of stupid things. They don't understand anything. One thing I would like to find out, since the people in Jamaica cannot, they're afraid to come out and do anything. Can we have like a big march over here against the government? Because, you know, like I see like some Spanish um, country and they wanted out the government. They had big protests. What about us over here? I think, I think, I, I don't think, they, they're going to be one in, in New York. On May yeah, I was 10th. the one in Miami. I was, there, there was one in Miami in January. I had, I went there. I was there. Okay. Yes. But I mean, like, to come out, you didn't know, make they get the message that we over here, since those people are afraid to come out, we over here won't stand for it. Well, because I tell see. you, can you, see, Jeffrey? I, yeah, go on. I, this thing that I'm so tired, up to this week, I had to send money to friends to buy medication. One just had prostate cancer. I just sent money down there to help. I mean, like, yeah, it don't stop. Mm. You know? But I still send because that's my country. And I love, they need to come out. But we up here, since they're afraid, we up here need to come out, march, stand up. And tell those people, get out True. and leave our country alone. Enough is enough. We are so tired of them. Send the message, make him hear it. We over here tired of them. Them people away. Thank you very much. Have a nice day, baby. Have a nice day. Thank you so much for calling. Good oh, afternoon. Hello, turn off your, your radio, whatever you have on, please, your TV. Hello? Yes, yes, Mr. Tavares. Can you turn off the TV, not even the background, please, sir? Okay, okay. 
Yeah. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> you see what we love one in Jamaica? With the, with the whole um the whole issue of this government. The people really scared. Yeah, mm. yeah man, they scared, man. Because you see, as some as then do something, you know, see the government find them. So easy and they can't find the criminal. Hmm. Yeah? You can't find the criminal, but they find them. So the people kind of scared. So you see, and then you have a whole patrol now, Miss on your program, you know, and we'll put them a call you because you see the illiterate, see the $5,000 voting, yeah. some of them now go get it again, you know, mm -hmm. you know, and believe me, you see the people, trust Jamaican people at the poll, the next poll, listen in silence, but trust them at the next poll, Jeffrey, remember me tell up because they're upset with what I want right here. That is what somebody have been saying to me, Sir Jeffrey. The Jamaican people are silent for a reason. Yes. And 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 they're demanding. If Andrew thinking about call it now. <laughs> call it for God. Call and it. That, yeah. Well, that doesn't reach because then you know yeah. it's like a for this man and in, in family country. Hmm. You know this man do something unprecedented. We never seen nothing like this. Never. Yes. You know, no accountability, nothing. And then we even the military our, our wife are the speaker of the house. Me glad for it now. Because this uncle show integrity, Jeffrey. Me glad for what? Right? We say glad for Jeffrey, this uncle show integrity. No, 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 no. You, you, you said you said you're glad to see that his wife is the speaker of the house, too. Oh Lord. Hello? Hello? I think we have lost him. There was an next call coming. You can call back in caller. 9545298030. We're going to go anytime soon. Yes, because we have to get, get our separate prayer for our next program that we have coming up. The numbers to call is 9545298030. Unless, um, you know what, let me stop taking in the call. We're going to go now. We're going to say thank you all for coming on. Thank you all for being a part of the Make We Talk program. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe to the Make We Talk Jeffrey Tavares YouTube channel. And join us in a, maybe an hour or so for the next program. Thank you all for coming on. Thank you all for being a part of this program. Um. Yep. May God bless you. Thanks to all my viewers and um, Twitter. No X. Thanks to all my viewers on Facebook. All my viewers all over the globe who is watching us. From Germany, England, the Cayman Islands, all over. Thank you all for being a part of this program. Thank you all for being a part of my family. I have one more call coming in. Hello, good afternoon. Welcome to the Mecca program. Yes, I know you have to go. Yes, sir. Uh, how are you doing today? I am here. Um, quickly. Um, the, the, Mr. Sinclair. Yes. Uh, may I quickly ask, who are you in preside over, out of Montego Bay? I think he is the MP for somewhere in Montego Bay, you know. No man, he's coming to the flanker area. That's where Charles that's where Charles Sinclair is responsible for. Yes. No, so me not gonna say nothing more. Why are you asking? That's what an election. No, because these guys are not honest. Hmm. These guys, you know that even by election day, I will be shooting in the flanker right in front of the, the polling station. That's what I was told, Master. Secondly. Very quickly. Yes. Are you know, the people of Westmoreland? Um, well, Anover and part of Westmoreland have issue with water. Why they won't give the people them water, man? Let me say something to you, sir. And I want anybody to come on this program or call me or say it in the public or whatever they want to do and challenge me on it. 
the people of Westmoreland and the people of Hanover have been having water issue from Wapi Kill Philip and Philip dead long time. They built a water reservoir in Hanover, Lagwood, Hanover. All right? There was a blue hole where they built the water, where, where, where they build a water reservoir. And for some unknown reason, some smarty pants block up the blue hole. It was built in the 1990s and under the Patterson administration. And somebody block up the, the blue hole. And the people of Hanover and the people of Westmoreland is having issue with water. So is the people of yes, St. Elizabeth. Hold on there for me. There is a reservoir that's built in St. Elizabeth from Danny Buck days and Danny Buck dead and gone. And I'll know, a matter of fact, that reservoir has been built from the 1950s, 60s, 70s coming up. And the promise the people of St. Elizabeth will not give them water if they vote for them. Same with the people of Western Westmoreland, the people of Eastern Westmoreland, the people of Hanover. The Jamaican people must wake up and say to them, enough is enough. If you can't provide a thing as water for your people, the two political party has not served the people of Jamaica well at all. I, 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 don't, I, I know I call you and discuss certain things. Yes. Well, let me, give you, let me give you some information. Because... You're sure you're sure 20 you're, what? You're sure the information you make can, can be said on air? Yes, man. Go ahead. There's a there's a there's a there's a water system that was I don't uh, was it 2009 or something like that, Nigel had that water issue. And the people it wasn't the Jamaican who have issue. It was the the, the visitors couldn't get no water for sure. Okay? Mm-hmm. And there's a system that is put that is built between 2013, if I remember carefully. It was built in 2013, uh -huh. 2013, 2014. Built by Vinci Construction from oh, yes. France. I heard about that, that they were the contractors. Yes. And Jeffrey, it takes water from Great River straight to Negril. But to the hotels. And Hold on, hold on. Every community that that pipeline water is capable of getting water. Every community from Great River, Ropewell, Sandy Bay, all of that community going along, Lucy, straight to Negril. You understand? Mm -hmm. But these people have no respect for the Jamaican people. You understand me? And people must know and decide what they're voting for when they go to market X. You know? They're not making no demand. Then just go, as you say, it's a long political line. Me a shower. Or me a, me a, me a comrade. They have water because that same system that I'm telling you about, Jeffrey. Mm -hmm. If there is a problem in Great River, that system has a line run from Martha Bray in Falmouth. That that. that Ties into that system. So if Great River can supply it, Tulani can supply it. It's the same system they sent to St. Anne. So what is really going on then? Is somebody sabotaging something? Distribution. Else? Distribution. I don't care about the people. Okay. You understand me? There is no water issue. Distribution is a problem. Up here, Anki Panky, they go on in a, in, a, in a water commission under this government. Mm. And th these are the first class, or world class prime minister who love the poor and come from out of the ghetto in a Spanish town. Hmm. Two, two, remember two, um, he, he, he said one room bed house, and then he said two room bed house. He no know, he no know, he no even know where he's <laughs> I don't know about that one day, though. I keep my mouth shut. Well, well, you, 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 well, you, get, you, well, you, you need to know. Why, 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 when him carry mother and uh, uh, whoever going at the house, why him father never did it? You know, should I carry him father too? 
Listen, man, we need, we need to respect with people, man. Mm -hmm. Your number one resource are your people. Yes. But, but, but you see, I, I don't blame him. Because when a prime minister can go in a bush in a Clarkstown when I have nothing <laughs> and talk about your town in a city, <laughs> why you take the people in a Clarkstown and, 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 and Chilanifa? <laughs> No, sir. Eh? You tell the people at Clarkstone, say, no, make Clarkstone turn Silicon Valley. What a wicked man. Yo, man. <laughs> Let me tell you, say, you see Jeffrey. <laughs> I'm not laughing at the people. Yeah, Jeffrey, Jeffrey, yes, Jeffrey, sir. I didn't call you for your laughing at Jeffrey. <laughs> no. This is serious, you know. It is serious, but listen, listen, when you have these people telling the people these nonsense just to get vote, something is wrong. Man, <laughs> you don't know how upset I am. Whenever I come by your program, you know, I fax me, give you, you know, I know, I know, years send me a talk, but... I know. You want to have a talk off here, do you know? Man, you have my number, Jeffrey, call me. Yeah, man, thanks very much for calling in. You call... Listen, listen, yes. listen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you say, talk, talk to me half a year, because some of them foolish, they have time for you to stop, and, and, you know. Yes. Are this is the same, uh, 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 yeah, no, before you go, this is the same government from 19, in, in, in the 60s, trim Jamaican, you know, yes. trim Rastas, you know. Yep. And I see him, government come back again. They lock up this girl uh, out of him, see him, see him community, I can't him, and then trim the girl, and no apologies. Nothing. And, 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 and what he did the other day was to walk under the parliament of the Jamaican people. And he, him not sit for I, 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 I spoke on that. I, I spoke on that at the last time. Till Nigel, Nigel, Lord, tell you no, don't touch, don't touch, um, Juliet. Mm -hmm. Eh? Who, th th this guy, Clark, this guy Clark, who died um 2010 in you know a me. You mean Keith Clark? It, what's the relation to to Nigel? That's Nigel uncle. And Nigel in at this house. And the BF, the way and BF, listen to me, man. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, that is good. Hmm. All right, sir. I'll call you off here. <laughs> yeah, man. Thank you very much for calling in. Later, man. All right, cool, cool. Somebody was asking for the number in the chat room. Errol? The number is 9545298030. It's a WhatsApp number. That's the only call I'm going to take. So if you want to call in now, 9545298030. Call in now and we can talk. If not, then I'm going to close the program and then come back on um, maybe a, a, a next time. 9545298030. That's the number to call in with. You're not going to call. I'm going to say so long from here. Everyone have a great day. I'm going to give you two minutes to call in. If you're not going to call, I'm going to say so long. Thanks to all my callers, all my subscribers, all my viewers. Thank you all very much. <laughs> Why would you be able to say it in the chat room? I know me say it. And the man say, no, get the people from Silicon Valley. Jamaica's prime minister going to Clarkstone and tell the people of Clarkstone. He's going to give them Silicon Valley. Let's vote for him. And I'm a sister. So, <laughs> looking at me and saying Jeffrey must be of himself. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Have a great day, everyone. May God bless you. And may God bless Jamaica land we love. I'm going to go now. Have a great one, everyone. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> When the game gets rough And this life just seems so tough Make we talk My people Make we talk When this town becomes An ugly place Don't let it erase The smile from your face Make we talk People Make we talk Conversation is the key A guiding light for you and me 
Spark the talk and you will see Conflict solver A to Z World leaders master the art of self-defense Just by talk So people make we talk Hey!